2 Timothy chapter 1. Our subject, the second coming of Christ. Do you have 2 Timothy chapter 1? Verse 9. Are you there? Read with me. Who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his what? According to his own purpose and grace. Come on. Which was given us when? In Christ Jesus. Come on. Before the world began. So we have uh, Ephesians 1, 3, and 4. We have Ephesians 3, verse 11. Now we have 2 Timothy 1, verse 9, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. God had a plan, and I have to hit this and hit this because I want to identify one of the items of that plan as we continue the second coming. Go to 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. That mighty apostle for, uh, Peter, he went through a tremendous change. We thank God for his ability to change people. He really loves to do it. God is a specialist at changing people. Always remember that. He is a specialist at changing people. He really, and he loves to do it. All right, 1 Peter chapter 1. Let's read from verse 18. Are you there? For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Now read verse 20. Who fairly was foreordained when? Before the foundation of the world. He was foreordained before the foundation. Now we have Ephesians 1, 3, and 4, Ephesians 3, 11, 2 Timothy 1, verse 9, 1 Peter 1, verse 20, all telling us long before the world was made, there was a plan to deal with sin. Part of that plan surely was that Jesus Christ would one day come back. He'd come the first time, yes, but he would also come back one day to deliver sinners from this world. All of that is part of the plan of salvation. Now notice the word plan of salvation, a plan. The plan of salvation included the coming of Christ. He'd come and he'd be born in Bethlehem, grow up in Nazareth. He would be born into the tribe of Judah. He would be a Nazarene. His mother would be a virgin. He would seek refuge in Egypt as a child or his parents. With all those details were plan of salvation. He would grow up at the age of 30 when the fullness of time was come. He would begin his public ministry. He would be abused. He would be baptized at a certain date. He would end his ministry at a certain date. He would give his life at a certain time. He would rise at the commandment of the Father. He would remain on the earth a certain amount of time. Go back to heaven. Spend some time. Come back after at the second coming take the righteous with him destroy the wicked temporarily spend a thousand years come back at the end of a thousand years give the wicked a punishment remake this earth destroy satan remake this earth then the plan of salvation is all done are you with me calvary is part of the plan of salvation until the devil is destroyed at the end of the thousand years, the plan of salvation is not complete. And this is taught to us in the sanctuary services.